But taste isn't just physiological because it's, it's our, our sense of emotion, our smell, our sense of taste, our memory. It's all this one big clump of stuff. Right. So the reason that we like certain things isn't just because they are, there's no objective deliciousness. So like, um, uh, I told this story one, about one time I was in the Amazon and I was with one, a chef from uh, Peru. This is up towards the, the headwaters. And we were with a, um, in a village where their practice was you catch fish straight out of the Amazon and you let it ferment for several days and then you eat it. And he just shook his head. He's like, man, it's disgusting. But for them, <laughs> this represented something delicious, right? So I have my kind of funny story about the, the meat is that the, the artificial meat... Um, scientist, friend of a friend, came by, and it, it happened, so happened, it was a, um, when Roy was in town, this is, I don't know, about a year ago, we were testing for local, and they really wanted to get our, our feedback on this uh, plant-based meat patty, and so they made a burger for us, and, and we, we saw this array of like seven scientists on the other side of the line, we we're standing there, and they're just watching us as we eat, and it truly like, seemed like meat. It was pretty extraordinary. But it wasn't delicious. And they're like, well, tell us what we can do. Tell us how we should roll it out. Tell us. I said, well, first of all, you should have hired a chef. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I don't think scientists should be cooking. So that's like your missing piece of the puzzle. It's like, it doesn't matter how good it is for you if it's not delicious. Don't tell them that. They won't eat my meringues. <laughs> <laughs> but it has sugar in it. Come on, how bad could it be? You know, so I think that partly there's this, what can we do that's going to be coming from a place of sustainability and all of these bigger issues? Then it's how do you actually produce that but then at a certain point, someone has to intervene and say, you know, my dude, you need something in there. It's just not that good. Maybe put some miso in it or something. Like, we can help you take this plant-based substance, and there's a lot of things we could have done. But don't just pay the scientists. Like, bring someone in who actually has spent their whole life on a practical level, like trying things over and over, because maybe that combination is where the sweet spot lies, you know? And maybe somewhere in that, there's, there's a call about, hey, we're developing this thing. Do you see any roadblocks for us or ways, even better, ways that we could do this in a, in a, in a manner that's going to be better, right. better for the people who are producing it, better for the people who are eating it? So it's like, I think, like, as kind of exemplars of our fields, like, all three fields have a place of, of community, and the more communication there is, like the more that you can kind of scratch at some of these solutions in a very pragmatic sort of way.